students so this video is for class 7 social science so today we'll start with the third chapter from your social and political life that is your state government okay so in the previous chapter we have studied how the government is formed and all isn't it so what are the different process is it so process through which the government has been formed okay so in this uh, chapter we are going to give or going to understand about the state government okay so uh our India, it's a vast area, isn't it? It's a vast country. So it consists of 28 states and nine union territories. So it's very, very impossible to control uh, this whole state and the union territories, sorry, union territories only by the government, only by the central government, isn't it? So the government has been divided into three labors, that is your uh, central, state and local to function the, uh, to function the whole country okay properly in it and smoothly okay so in this chapter we're going to give uh, we have given more emphasis on the state government okay so the state government the main function their main work is to maintain law okay to execute law and to protect the law okay got it so to maintain or to organize these three functions properly uh, they have performed a three major organs okay a three major organs that is your legislature executive and judiciary okay so let's let's understand this three organs uh, in detail okay so first one is your legislature so legislature is related with the law making okay so legislature is been it consists of two uh, two houses okay that's legislative assembly and the legislative council okay got it so first one about a legislative assembly so legislative assembly uh it is the lower house of your uh, of the state government okay got it and the, all the representative <coughs> excuse me all the representative uh, or the members of the legislative assembly is been elected by the people okay got it so the people or the citizen of the state will going to uh, elect the rep elect the representative of the uh, legislative assembly okay got it so during the assembly okay or the during the election um, this state will be divided into small units okay that is called your constituencies okay so whichever candidate okay will be winning or okay, the sorry it will the person uh, the candidate will win okay the elections so that candidate will going to be the member of the legislative assembly okay so that is called your mls okay so so what are the requirements or what is the qualification required to be the MLS okay so the candidate has to uh, qualified for the certain criteria okay you can refer the book also here has been mentioned all the points okay like first one is the candidate should be a citizen of India so the candidate or he or she should be the citizen of India okay the candidate should be a voter uh, sorry should be, uh, be a voter in any constituency of the state so that candidate should uh, should have a voter card okay like this kind of voter card okay so he or she has to must have a voter card okay next the candidate should not be less than 25 years of age so the candidates minimum age is 25 years okay and the candidate should not hold any executive positions under the government of india or state government so the candidate should not have any other official positions okay like for example he should not be a video or any sdo or, or sorry sdo any kind of um office uh, or you know any kind of official position he or she sh should not have okay so the candidate should be of sound mental health so he or she the candidate should be uh, mentally and physically fit okay and the candidate should not be bankrupt okay so, so the candidate should not have any kind of criminal records at all okay got it so these are all the qualifications required to be a mla okay so now about the officers so uh, the assembly you can check it in your book also you can check the picture of the office or the uh, legislative assembly house okay lower house so this is the house isn't it so this house is been executed or been conducted by the uh, speaker okay speaker of the house so this speaker is been elected by the member of the legislative assembly okay so among them only okay among the member of the legislative assembly only they will going to choose one of the person as the speaker okay got it so in the absence of the speaker the deputy uh, deputy speaker will conduct the assembly okay got it so that deputy uh, speaker is also been elected by the uh, member of the legislative assembly only 
Okay, got it. So next is about the power and functions. So functions of legislative assembly. So legislative assembly, uh, their main function is to make lawmaking uh, in, and financial and to monitor. Okay, so uh, let's understand this term properly. Legislative is a lawmaking, isn't it? So the, uh, sorry, the state, uh, sorry, the uh, legislative assembly, they are going to make a laws also. Okay, got it. So these laws are which, uh, which has been provided by the gov by the constitution of India. Okay, so this law may be related with the police, uh, public health, your uh, local government and the agriculture and all. Okay, next year financial is related with the money, isn't it? So assembly uh, will going to pass a money bill that is the finance and all, isn't it? So uh, they will also going to discuss uh, uh, to put the taxes, how much they have can uh, impose the taxes on the different products and all. Okay, got it. And plus they will going to fix the salary of the member of the legislative assembly also. Okay, next you are monitoring the assembly uh, in the assembly the candidates okay the member of the legislative assembly they will put forward the various policies and all isn't it which is which is very which can be benefited also or which may have some uh, false point also okay so they will going to discuss on the false point they are going to point out the false point of the policies so whichever policies is beneficial okay it's been benefited for the people they are going to recommend it okay and Next is about the strength and term. So the member of the legislative assembly, uh, uh, sorry, the maximum member of the legislative assembly should be 500. Okay, that is the maximum limit. Okay, and your minimum is 60. Okay, so this is the um, no members uh, number of the members of legislative assembly. Apart or except the three state that is your um, Goa, your Mizoram and Sikkim. So only in this three state, okay, this uh, this criteria is not been uh, included. Okay, got it. So uh, apart from these three states, all of the states they have got uh, 500 members. Of, sorry, uh, between five, uh, 60 to 500 members. Okay, got it. So the members of this legislative, they are, uh, their term is for five years. Okay, for five years. So before completing the five years, only the government has that power to remove or to resolve or to dissolve the members of the legislative assembly. Okay. So the legislative council is also called as the upper house of the state government. So the member of the legislative council is been elected by the MLS of the state. Okay, then the members of the local bodies and your graduate people and the teachers of the secondary school. Okay, apart from that, governor also has got the power to nominate the member of the legislative council. So that person has to be, uh, 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 sorry, should be eligible on the field of your art, literature, any kind of social activities or any kind of any cooperation and all okay got it so regarding the qualification so the member of the legislative council uh, council also uh, uh, also have a same criteria or the same requirement as uh, uh, same as that of your uh, legislative uh, legislative assembly okay got it only difference is uh, regarding your age okay so the legislative uh, assembly's uh, member should be minimum age is uh, 25 your le legislative council's minimum age should be 30 okay that is only the difference right so regarding the officers and all, your officers, uh, your any kind of assembly or any kind of meeting in the legislative council is been conducted by the chairman. And in uh, in absence of chairman, your deputy chairman will be there to conduct the meetings and all, right? So this officials, this both officials, that is your uh, deputy chairman and your chairman is been elected among the members of the legislative council itself okay so regarding the powers and functions so legislative sm sorry legislative council has got the full power to suggest the amendments which has been pro put forward by the legislative assembly okay got it and legislative uh, council also has got the uh, has got the power to discuss on the policies okay uh, sorry to the uh, to the minister regarding any kind of policies and all Okay, so regarding the strengths and term, your legislative council is a permanent house. So every, uh, sorry, yeah, um, one third member of the your legislative council will be retired every after second year, right? Now, executive, the second body or the second organ of your state government after your legislature. Okay, so executive means to how to execute the law. Okay, how to implement the law. Okay, got it. So their work is to implement the law, isn't it? So 
your uh, executive consists of three powers or the three members okay that is your governor chief minister and the councils of minister okay got it your governor is considered as the head of the uh, your executive okay or the head of the state isn't it but actual power is on the hand of the chief minister and his um, and he, sorry and um, his or her uh, council of minister okay so governor is only considered as the nominal head of the state okay got it so go governor uh is appointed by the president of uh, president of india okay uh and governor's tenure is for five years okay but uh, the governor can be removed uh, by the president of india uh in any kind of circumstances okay so before complete uh, before completion of the five year uh, only president has got the power to remove the governor okay so what is the function of the governors then okay so here is the list in your book you can refer so first is to appoint the chief minister councils of ministers and other of important officers along with the members of the state public service commission so this is the thing isn't it so governor has the power to appoint the chief minister your council of ministers and other officials okay and even the members of the state uh, public service commission okay next addresses the first sessions of the legislative assembly so governor is the one who always address first in the first session of your legislative assembly and next governor also approves or approves the bill which has been passed by the state legislature okay so any law cannot be approved okay any cannot uh, law cannot be be effective until and unless your uh, governor will going to will not going to approve it okay next in issues ordinance equivalent of laws in case the legislature is not in session okay so the governor has the power to work okay uh, work during the time of uh, if the session is not working so governor has got the full power to uh, to issue any kind of ordinance or uh, evaluate the laws and all okay so next forgives and reduce the punishment of the people imprisoned in accordance with the state law so governor also has got the full power to uh, to give the uh, to uh, yeah sorry to forgive or to reduce the uh, punishment of the in uh, imprisoner okay so that is about the functions and all minister so uh, during the election okay so whichever whichever party will win the highest number of members in a legislative assembly so that party will going to form a ruling party okay so that party will going to rule the state okay so the head or the leader of that party will going to be as the chief minister of that state government which will be appointed by the governor okay so that uh sorry yeah this uh the governor will all uh, going to appoint uh, not only the chief minister but also even the council of the ministers okay got it so next the power and the function of the chief minister as i told you already that the main power or main function is uh is on the hand uh, hey, sorry hand of the chief minister okay got it so chief ministers have got the several powers okay and several functions and all you can check it in the book number one is head the councils of ministers so your chief minister will be the head of the councils of ministers next act as a link between the governor and the councils of minister so uh, it will act as a communicator between the uh, governor and the councils of ministers okay so allocate separate department to the uh, councils of ministers so uh, that uh, chief minister will going to give the different department to the different uh, councils of minister okay got it and plus uh, act as a chief architect of the policies of the state government so uh, chief minister will going to uh, recommend or going to act um, act the um, laws and all okay in in his or way okay so next coordinates and supervise the function of the entire ministry so um, chief minister is the one who will going to coordinate will going to work okay will going to um, uh, sorry will going to make the uh, different council of ministers to work in this way and that way okay so actually uh, your chief minister will going to suggest how the whole state will going to be run okay according to him or her okay so next your powers and functions of the council of minister so here is the list 
number one adds and advise the governor so go your uh, uh, so council of minister will go and advise the governor then introduce appropriate proposals of laws or bills in the legislature and gets them approved so the bills will be uh, passed to the state legislature by the council of minister and uh, they will going to uh, approve them also okay then next is your term okay so your chief minister and your council of minister a maximum year is five years okay so till five years they will going to uh, rule okay and after that uh, what happens but actually it depends upon the faith of the uh, state legislature okay so if the uh, state legislature will going to uh, going to uh, believe or we have a faith on the party okay or the com chief minister and the uh, his or her councils of ministers then they will going to re uh, rule beyond five years okay but if uh, the state legislature okay the uh, state legislature will lose the faith on the on the chief minister and the councils or any member of the council of minister then immediately that party and the that part sorry that governor government or the chief minister and the council of minister they have to immediately resign okay got it they have to submit the resignation to the government okay then uh, that is before completing five years okay that may happen okay so this is your judiciary a last uh, organ of your state government so judiciary looks after or protects the law which has been implemented by the uh, by the sorry by the legislature and the executive so uh, every state they have got it has got the uh, high court okay and the head of the high court is your uh, so chief justice okay so the people any people or any uh, person who who or she who uh, sorry who is not been satisfied with the judgment of the lower court then that person has got the full right to appeal to the high court okay so high court will going to uh, look or going to settle the disputes and all okay uh, under the state laws and all okay and even uh, your head uh, sorry your uh, high court will going to supervise the lower court also okay got it and so that comes to the end of your chapter. Hope you're going to do.